What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for Feels Like Summer by Childish Gambino. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in the comments below what other songs by Childish Gambino that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing that you want to know to play Feels Like Summer on guitar is that in order to get rid of some bar chords and keep this song as beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to 5th fret. And if you don't have a capo, I'll have a link to get this capo for free right up here. The next thing you want to know to play Feels Like Summer is the three chords we need to play this song. The first one is A minor 7. The next one is D minor, and the last one is E minor. And I'll have chord charts for all of those in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. So guys, Feels Like Summer is one of those really cool songs that's pretty much played the same way through the whole entire song. Actually, about 90% of this song is going to be played the same way. So what our chord progression for the entire song is going to be is going to be A minor 7, D minor, E minor, and then back to D minor in that order through literally the whole entire song. The only thing that's gonna change up a little bit is our strum pattern. I'll get to that in just a minute. So guys, what our strum pattern for this song is gonna be, is gonna be down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, twice per chord. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, what the heck is going on? That is a crazy, crazy strum pattern. I promise it's not as hard as it seems. Basically, all of the down ups and the up downs are going to be played pretty quickly. So just kind of just kind of up, down, up, down, up, down really quickly. And then those kind of spaced out, the ones with the commas there, basically those up strums, they're just going to be kind of like up, 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 and then anywhere you see a comma is kind of a small pause. So it sounds a little bit weird and it sounds complicated, but the thing is with this song is it's kind of a funk song. It's kind of a groove. You got to find the groove of this. And once you fall into that groove, it's really easy and very repetitive, actually. And the other thing with this, guys, is as always, this strum pattern is just kind of a recommendation for what I think sounds right. But if you want to kind of jam on this, feel free to find your own strum pattern because that's one thing about this song and a lot of other songs like this is that there's not necessarily one just one correct strum pattern that plays through literally the entire song. So kind of, you know, get creative with it, have some fun with it. So guys, like I said, that's gonna be about 90 to 95% of our song is that chord progression, A minor seven, D minor, E minor, back to D minor, with that strum pattern twice through per chord. So I'm gonna play through that a couple times so you can see what it looks like full speed. So guys, the only place in the whole entire song where it's going to change away from that, and it is super, super minor, and if you blink, you might miss it, but there's a couple places in the song where it's going to switch from doing that strum pattern twice to doing that strum pattern once. We're going to call them a bridge, but it's really not a bridge. It's kind of like a post-chorus slash bridge. There's really not a technical, really good name for this, but it's a place where instead of doing that twice, like for the rest of the song, we're just going to do that strum pattern once. So the time markers for where that happens is going to be from one minute and 54 seconds to two minutes and 15 seconds. And then it's going to start up again at three minutes and 23 seconds. And it's going to play through till the end of the song. And like I said, guys, same exact chord progression, A minor seven, D minor, E minor, back to D minor. And we're going to do that same exact strum pattern, that down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. But instead of doing it twice, like we did for the rest of the song, we're just going to do it once. Guys, that is everything that you need to know to play Feels Like Summer on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, 
hit that subscribe button. I have about 550 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see a short daily preview of what songs I'm teaching before I actually teach them, you can hit up my Instagram at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below. Guys, I'm a huge Childish Gambino fan, and I love both of the new songs that he just put out. They're super vibey, super cool. I really like it. You know, he kind of went from going to that rap thing, which I love Childish Gambino as a rapper, and then he's kind of getting more into this funk kind of groove thing. And like, I was like, I liked Redbone, and I liked some other songs on that album, but I really didn't love any of them. And this one is like a really, really, this is, I, I really love this song. It's a really great summer song. It's kind of weird that he released it at the very end of summer, because it would have actually been a really cool, like, all throughout summer. I could see this being a real hit at like, you know, the beach and pool parties, all that kind of stuff. Um, but you know what? It's it's an awesome song. The music video is great. If you haven't seen the music video, I'll link that below because it's super cool. And it's just a great, great song. And this is a great beginner guitar song as well. As long as you can capo up, get rid of some of those bar chords, then all you got really is that simple, simple chord progression and that strum pattern that's going to repeat through the whole song. The only really challenging thing about this, not even really challenging, but a little bit challenging, is the getting that strum pattern just locked in. It's really not a hard strum pattern, but you really got to find the groove on it. So just kind of play around with that. It doesn't have to be exactly what I used, but just something in that direction and just kind of find a groove, get comfy. This is, it's a, it's kind of a funk groove song. So you want to find that funk and groove and just kind of make it your own. So anyways, guys, I hope you have as much fun learning this song as I did. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all soon.